Hey guys, Storm Dancer's Bracers have received a majorly significant buff in the following season and are now quite literally S tier for endgame content such as Nightfalls or Raids. They have been updated with another additional perk that now allows them to garner 50% of their super energy back after getting a super kill. This buff has made the exotic more reasonable and worth using if you're someone that wants to crowd control but also do increase damage over time while also having a chance to get your super energy back. So for today's build, I have a setup that will allow you to get your super energy back up within a short time frame of at least 30 seconds, while also giving you the chance to produce numerous amounts of orbs of power and elemental wells. Super destructive and shocking to use, this build will clear rooms of combatants within seconds and leave a very toasty boss to mini boss in the process. Trust me, you will love this for content such as Gambit or Battlegrounds. So before we head in, if you enjoyed the video then I really appreciate a like and a sub as it goes a long way for me. The subclass I've chosen is the Tumor of Conduction to make full use of all his perks as not only will they come in handy for clearing out groups of enemies through chain lightning effects but also the ability to extend our super longer. The Tumor of Conduction is a popular subclass that players use in PvP because of its chain lightning effect which has the destructive capabilities of wiping out a whole team if provided. While in PvE it makes getting through hordes of combatants a breeze and also allows you to produce a wide number of orbs of power for our allies. The subclass effect in PvE is great for taking out groups of combatants easily by just a single grenade or melee and doesn't require any more thought than that. The great thing about the art chain effect is how I can activate it against a more tougher combatant and proc his ability to nearby minor to majors as well, creating a sort of arc web in the process. And this is where this Storm Dancer's Adopted Perk comes in, as I can turn a single combatant into an arc rod, where its arc chain effect will hit others and potentially take them out in the process, which will then also increase our super damage output at the same time. Along with the chain lightning effect, the arc web perk will also activate upon using our melee or grenade, which will provide grenade energy back to us and allow us to keep a repeated arc chain effect as long as we like. When combined with mods such as Hands On, the super gen we get will allow us to quickly build up our super energy once again after we finish our first one, thus rinse and repeat. However, the most biggest thing of the subclass is the perk Transcendence, which when activated, extends your super and provides a full health. This is where we'll make full use of our super so we can do more damage for longer and have better chances of getting our 50% super energy back I can also create tons of elemental wells which we can convert for more super energy via the Well of Potency mod. The trick here is to always proc this perk so that our exotic, weapons and mod, when both combined, will have a much longer and deadly effect on combatants whether you are in your super form or not. As the super is the main bread and butter of the build, getting our super up as quickly as possible won't be too hard as long as you do what is being shown. For weapons, my primary is the Blasphemy Shotgun with Threat Detector and Osmosis, and truth be told I'm using this weapon because of the Osmosis perk alone. There seems to be a lack of secondary weapons in game for the primary slot that has the Osmosis perk attached, and luckily the weapon I have for the perk is quite good, but it's something I picked up on my travels. The great thing about having a weapon with the Osmosis perk is that I can use this as an extension for certain mods in terms of proccing them more often, such as the Elemental Armors mod. It's also very handy for when you need to quickly take out a combatant with an arc shield and as is a precision frame shotgun, you can take out a large chunk of combatant's health within 1-2 to two, to even 3 precision hits. I do recommend you try and get one as it can help with taking out large combatants with huge crit spots with ease. For secondary I'm using the Trinity Ghoul exotic which has a profounding effect with the build when using our abilities. If you throw your grenade or use your melee and get a kill with either one, you can proc Trinity Ghoul's Exotic Perk without ever needing to fire it. This is very strong when you consider how both the Arc Chain effect for your abilities and the forward weapon can easily wipe out a horde with one well placed shot. Also, with the Catalyst attached, you can provide orbs of power like a running waterfall and the Arc Chain effect can empower ourselves further to get our grenade energy back via the Elemental Orders mod and Armored mod or empower ourselves in general via the Font of Might mod. With this we can use our grenades to tag multiple enemies at once or melee and if successful we can get our grenade energy back as well as a charged bow that we can use to proc some orbs of power and also create wells at the same time. This will be the main weapon that will carry the build from start to finish and it is highly recommend you do get it fully maxed out before going ahead. 
For heavy, we have this small machine gun with bottomless grief for increased magazine size and one for all for a 35% increased damage for 3 seconds. A very handy for an up against mini bosses as we can proc the one for all buff consistently and quickly to knock them down a peg, while also utilizing the same damage phase onto the other combatants thanks to increased magazine size via bottomless grief. As we do have the Thunder Might mod for an extra 25% damage increasement, I can see this won't be absolutely necessary to use if you ever decide to take on massive level content. Alternatively, getting one with Raw Pull for a 15% bonus is also handy in the long runs of things. For stats, you want to aim and focus on getting as much grenade and mini energy as possible so you can proc your abilities more often, but most importantly, so we can build up our super energy recovery rate at a faster rate than normal. As shown, not a lot of love is being given to the intellect stats as we do not need to invest in any sort of points to make a noticeable difference or change. Instead, we'll be relying on the following mods to make a difference. Grenades, melee and trinity will be the key to success of the build, so for discipline, aim for 60 for a smooth start into the area. From here, you'll want to invest in the elemental armors mod so you can get an elemental well via kills, which will also lead into other mods being used as well, such as the frontal might for your 25% weapon buff. You'll also want to have the grenade kickstart mod so you can give yourself an extra boost of grenade energy upon it being used and also the Absolution mod which will cover all ability recovery. Your melee now should be aimed at 70 so we can then utilize the hands on mod which will grant you super energy on power melee kills, but also trigger the Trinity Gauze Exotic perk straight away. This alone is great as when combined with elemental armors we have an increased chance to proc the mod to drop an elemental well, which will then trigger Font of Might and the Elemental Time Dilation mod for an increased duration timer for Font of Might alone. Also, this will lead back into the Elemental Potency mod for even more super energy regen so everything works out as planned. Then we do also have the Storm Dancer's Exotic as well which will grant us 50% super energy from getting enough kills with our super, so everything will be leading back to the super in general. Lastly, we do have the Power Preservation mod which allows us to create even more orbs of power for our allies upon super kills, which is handy if you want to change your super more efficiently with your teammates. Simply put it, the stats are already there and sorted thanks to the curated subclass perks that are focused around ability regeneration and how you use it. Filling in the rest of the build is as easy as pie. Now let's showcase the whole of the mod so you can get a good idea as to what is added and where. For head we have discipline, hands on, power preservation and elemental time dilation mod. R we have minor strength, grenade kickstart and elemental ornaments mod. Chest we have Resilience, Curse of Damna times 2 and Elemental Armors mod. A Leg we have Discipline, Absolution and Font of Might mod. Bond we have Strength, Perpetration and Well Potency mod. Just like the long line of super fast ability regen art builds, this following build is able to come in and make itself well known for its large and long lasting effects wherever you go. I believe the closest build we have ever created for faster super regeneration for the ARC subclass has either been using Geomags with fresh and high intellect stats, or Crown or Tempest with Wrist Runner and heavily using Top Tree Arc with Ashes to Assets perk, or Bottom Tree Arc. This version incorporates a lot of what we have learned from the past builds and plays them all into one strong and potent setup. Super and ability focused builds are the raven endgame content where you are facing a ton of combatants back to back, and through the warlock with its arc subclass, it comes out on top in terms of achieving ad clearance superiority. A trinity ghoul with or without the catalyst is capable of taking out waves upon waves of combatants with one well placed arc shot, which will trigger a chain reaction in modern ability usage. For example, using an arc web ability can trigger the trinity ghoul on the perk which is basically a arc web within itself. From here, we can increase the proc chance of the Elemental Armors mod to produce Elemental Wells which will grant us ability energy back, as well as triggering the Font of Might mod. This mod here will grant us a 25% weapon buff for 13 seconds thanks to the Elemental Time Dilation mod, and from here we can continue our rampage through creating orbs of power, triggering the hands on mod, and triggering the Well of Potency mod as well. Also, do not forget, Storm Dancers will provide a 50% super energy after being used, so the 30 second super can be reduced down to 20 seconds if you play your cards right. 
You've seen it all before through other variations of similar builds, but this one here takes the cake in terms of building your super up within a short time frame, all just by triggering one thing. You'll want to use this in content where combatants are large and plentiful and you'll see the results in a matter of seconds. New light to returning players, you will have a bit of grind to go if you want to achieve the equal level of fun and success with the build. However, you can still participate in the build even without the mods shown. All you need to do is invest in Bottom Tree Arc for its Rising Storm perk, which also grants you super energy, and then invest in as much strength and grenade energy as possible, and then just ignore intellect stat in total. From here, every time you get a mini kill, you'll get some ability energy back, charge your bow automatically, and get some extra super energy back if you have the hands on mod as well. Rinse and repeat, and generally you'll be on the same level as what's currently being shown with the current mods being attached. A simple and fantastic build that I recommend all players do give a try out on for how powerful it can get. A 30 second super with constant damage buff and non stop arc web is no joke in end game, and I will be surprised if you pass up on such a great offer. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you do that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.